So you put the wafer into the wafer holder. It is very useful sometimes uh, to use a cleaving mat uh, to do this. Uh, that way you can use the ruled markers to make sure that everything is aligned properly. I'm going to put my magnetic hold down firmly against the flat of the wafer. I'm going to use my scribe stop to define the length of a scribe. And now I'm going to push gently to make my scribe. And you can see the scribe line on the back side. I'm going to remove the magnetic hold down, take the wafer out, put clean room cloth here, and I'm now going to use my pliers to cleave the sample. And I'm just going to squeeze gently to cleave the wafer. So now I have my wafer cleaved in half. I'll set one half aside. I'll take the other half. I'll place it back into the holder. This time I'm using my cleaving mat to position the sample in the holder. Place the sample back on to the flip scribe, this time moving the scribe stop out of the way. Just going to check for the uh, positioning. And now I'm going to slide the whole holder against the scribe. scribe line. I'll again put a clean room cloth here and now I'm going to cleave this in half using my cleaving pliers once again. This time, I've cleaved along the scribe uh, line. So that half is complete. And I'll repeat the process once more to finish the preparation. This time I'll show the sample being loaded. Now I'm going to repeat that same process of sliding the wafer holder over the scribe. In one motion, move it from the holder, flip it over, and I'm going to cleave again, or break again. 
using the pliers. And we have the other half complete. And we can show the four pieces.